Welcome back, my friends. It is January 11th, 2019, 7.43 p.m., and this is our Winter Storm Gia update, uh, which has already outperformed in Colorado. Many areas of Colorado got uh, well over a foot of snow due to uh, Winter Storm Gia, and it finally mixing with the cold air, which is putting it basically along Interstate I-70, which basically runs from Utah through Colorado, Kansas, uh, Missouri, and then kind of goes up through Illinois, Indiana, and then down in Chesapeake Bay. Uh, so this storm is, for the most part, staying pretty flat. It's a 2,000-mile storm from end to end, um, if you actually measure this as it is right now. But what's happening is now the moisture is finally mixing with the dip in the jet stream, and that is why St. Louis is now basically the hot spot for this storm as it will be two days of pretty much consistent snowfall. Uh, that includes other areas. We're going to put uh, southern Illinois and Indiana as well in that and western Kentucky and Tennessee. Uh, you guys need to be on watch because you are you may be seeing rain right now, but that's the same thing that happened in St. Louis today. St. Louis started off with like this kind of uh, sleety, uh, icy rain deal, and now it's becoming pretty messy out there. Um, this is the last 18 hours leading up into current time. I'll actually move this forward quick for us so we can get to what is happening right now. So you can see here there is a back end to this storm, and that is also carrying with it a lot of snow. This is a dip in the jet stream right here, and as the moisture is touching this cold air, everything behind it is just getting frozen solid, and you can see that here on this chart. This is why the winter storm warning is in West Virginia, Virginia, and part of North Carolina. And then you got the other states. You have uh, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and also Ohio involved in the winter storm warning. And then the winter storm watch stretches over 2,000 miles, uh, basically already passing Colorado. Didn't do too much to Utah. As I said, uh, this came down from the south more than it came from the top. In fact, the top system is what is playing a part in keeping this storm kind of flattened out along the I-70 corridor, uh, which basically runs from Utah all the way stretching straight across the U.S. down into Chesapeake Bay. Um, so they're calling this an I-70 storm, obviously covering enough uh, area of the U.S. and population to be named according to weather.com, which is how they name storms these days. It's either how many people are within range of the storm or in the way of the storm or how much area it covers in the states itself. This was a snapshot taken around 5.50 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, so not too long ago. And you can finally see that curl right here. This is rain down here. Oklahoma City, Little Rock, Arkansas, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, you're still seeing rain at this moment unless it's starting to change over, but that's because the top area of the country is where all the cold air is. As that moisture is rolling in, it's hitting this cold air and then turning into snow, which is why St. Louis here, the little belly button on uh, Mimo the Elf, we like to say. In fact, this would kind of be his belly button. Either way, it looks like a belly button. Uh, St. Louis is uh, X marks the spot territory for the next two days. Could be well over a foot of snow in parts of St. Louis and the surrounding areas, which could break two-day records. We don't know yet. We will know uh, more probably within the next eight hours or so. But as of now, uh, word on the grapevine is St. Louis is the uh, X marks the spot area. And I would assume surrounding areas based on this type of storm. It's almost like a pancake storm. You got... Um, the upflow coming from the Gulf, we have a high-pressure system to the north, uh, pressing this, almost pancaking it, um, again, like I said, right along the I-70 corridor, which I'll just show you now at this point. We may as well just take a look at it. Basically, here you go. It runs from Utah through Colorado. Uh, as I said before, we got Kansas, Missouri. Basically, the exact path of the storm is following the I-70 line right now, the I-70 interstate. Um, and again, it's because of the uh, high pressure in the north and the flatlined west to east trade winds in the south. We got upflow from the Gulf, but anything that's coming up is kind of getting curled around and just sticking around. Um, we can look at that on Tropical Tidbits and get an idea of what to expect in the coming days or even hours at this point. Uh, this is set for the 12th, so technically this is for tomorrow. This is the farthest I can go back unless I change to a separate set of data, which I don't want to do. But um, as you can see here... Uh, moisture is coming up this way and then curling back around and once it comes back around that's when it's hitting the cold air That's why we're putting st. Louis right in that target area uh, For the next two days. This is going to be a two-day storm for them as you can see we move into Sunday January 13th And that is more than likely when the snow will start uh, tapering off in uh, st. Louis at least and then we have to talk about the eastern states after that which I will probably do in another video 
uh, separate from this one. But according to the data that we have now, um, like I said, two days of snow for St. Louis. Uh, that's pretty much going to be the same for other parts of uh, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio as well. You can see for two straight days, uh, they are covered in that band of snow. A little bit of breakage going on right there as we get into hour 12 on Sunday. Um, you can even take this into Monday with the back end of this still curling around in parts of Virginia. But again, I don't want to get too ahead of myself here as far as making snow predictions um, when all we have right now is kind of this chart to really base our math off of, of where is going to get hit the hardest. Um, again, this could change all right here. It all depends on what happens once this moisture makes it underneath the Great Lakes and where our jet stream is at the time. Um, this could outperform. I do believe there will be more than a foot of snow in areas near and around St. Louis, which would actually up most of these totals as well. But the storm will more than likely stay on this track, this straight west to east I-70 corridor, once again, track, it's not really going to move much because of those highs and lows actually surrounding the storm itself, which we could also see here on uh, the cod.edu website that I use very often. We could just see that dip right along the uh, Canadian border here in the northeast that's keeping this thing flattened out. Uh, keeping it straight across West Virginia and Virginia as of now. That may change, though, guys. We could be dealing with snow in Pennsylvania, um, parts of Chesapeake Bay. Uh, it all depends on how that counterclockwise curl comes back into play, um, if at all. we got to wait and just see at this point. Um, that's all we can do is kind of just wait this one out. But uh, if you're in St. Louis or you're trying to travel on I-70 right now, oof, good luck to you and stay safe out there. It is freezing in the Northeast right now. I mean, like freezing freezing like you breathe through your nose and your boogers freeze freezing that kind of freezing but anyway guys just wanted to give you that update i will be uh, providing updates throughout the night um obviously tomorrow as well and we could just see that this is not um a small storm this is a pretty significant snowfall it's probably going to be the most snow st louis has seen in a while um, at least uh, certainly this year uh, to say the least but they're talking about a possible record over the next two days um, of snowfall in a two-day period. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, enough blabbing for this. Uh, let's see. We already have another system coming in from the west, which I'll dig into, and we'll talk about that um, as well, as it could be pretty ugly looking. As we can see that storm leaving, let's just take a quick look real quick. Look at this nice frame we get right here. Look at the entire east coast. That's all snow right there, guys. Big dip in the jet stream. This is January 20th, so I don't want to get anyone going crazy yet, but look at some of those colors. Those are not frames you see every day on Tropical Tidbits, I'll tell you that much. That is uh, crazy. If it stays out in the ocean, fine, stay there, but that we do not want to see that on the uh, East Coast, let's just say that much. But um, that's what I got for you for now, guys. Everyone stay safe, please, and I will be back soon with another update. Thank you very much. You guys are great. Bye-bye.